Hello, my name is Jay Haskamp, and I'd like to welcome you to another Tech Talk by Frontier Precision. In today's session, we're going to give you a brief introduction to the Trimble ZX5 multi-rotor solution. Today's session, we're going to go over the ZX5 specifications and performance, the three deliverables that we get from processing the data, and we'll give you a short demonstration on processing the ZX5 data in Trimble Business Center. First, let's answer the question of what is the Trimble ZX5? The ZX5 is a multi-rotor solution for the capture of aerial images and video. It is used for horizontal and vertical mapping applications, and it could be used for asset inspection for infrastructure, building facades, construction sites, plants, and more. It is seen as a complementary tool for the Trimble UX5 fixed-wing system. Here are the different components of the Trimble ZX5. First, we have the gimbal and the sensor, which is a motorized platform on which our camera resides. The system is run off of two lithium polymer batteries. There are two different ground control systems, one with and one without the live video feed option. We process the data in either TBC Advanced Photogrammetry Module or UAS Master. And we use GeoMap Win flight planning software, which allows us to fly the system autonomously on a predetermined route, as well as with the ground control stations, we can fly it manually. The Trimble ZX-5 uses a multi-rotor G4 flight controller. It has a light, rugged carbon structure and gives us up to 20 minutes of flight time per mission. The ZX-5 uses an Olympus EPL7 16.1 megapixel camera, a brushless motorized gimbal, and we have the option of a live view 5.8 gigahertz video. The ZX-5 can withstand up to 22 mile an hour winds and will give us a ground sample distance down to one millimeter. As stated before, we use GeoMap Win flight planning software and we process the deliverables in Trimble Business Center or Trimble UAS Master. Now let's talk about the three deliverables. The first deliverable is a digital orthomosaic. These are georeferenced TIFF images. They're high resolution aerial images and the resolution is based on the flight height. These can be useful for background images, as building, and site documentation. We also get a raster DTM or raster DSM image. These are produced as TIFF and PNG files. Basically, these are height maps that represent elevation and are commonly used in GIS to produce relief maps. The last deliverable is a DSM or a DTM point cloud. These are 3D point clouds based on the DSM or DTM calculations that we perform. They're produced from the aerial imagery by using photogrammetry methodology and the density is based on our ground sample distance. With these 3D point clouds, we can produce and extract 3D line work and surface models. Now let's take a brief look at processing the data in TBC. To begin, we'll need to go to the Home tab and Import to import the JXL file, which was created by the ZX5. Browse to the folder where your file is stored and hit OK. And now we will see it show up in the list and we'll bring this file into our project. Once we bring in the file, it'll populate the flight plan and load all of the images. These images are just a sample down preview. They're not the actual high-res images from the camera. So these are just kind of a preview, so don't be worried when you see, you see an image that doesn't have as good a resolution as you may be expecting. Next, we'll need to import the control file, which will be in standard CSV format. Now we have our control and we can zoom in and we can see in our sample images the targets lay relatively close to our control, but we can tie this together at a later step. Now we'll go to the photogrammetry tab and we'll choose the advanced UAS button. And in the advanced UAS tool, we'll start with a quick fit. The quick fit will do a preliminary photo adjustment. What this will do is it'll make it a little bit easier for the software to populate your photos stations from when you choose your ground control. Once a quick fit is done, we pick apply and it will ask us if we want to see the adjustment report. We can pick yes and you will get, uh, looks like a nine page report that just shows you some of the adjustment parameters for the quick fit adjustment that was performed. Then we can save or close the report and we can close the processing tab and now we'll, we will apply our ground control. Um, applying the ground control is as simple as loading one of your control points and it will populate a list of the photo stations for that particular area. And you're basically just going to go through and use your photo target selector 
and select the centers of the targets that correspond with your points. The easiest way to do this is to pick them from the Project Explorer. Once we're done setting our ground control, we want a minimum of three points. We can hit Process, and now it will process the digital surface or digital terrain model, depending upon what we choose, the orthomosaic and the raster DSM image. And when it's complete, we pick Import, and it will import those three deliverables that we've just created into our project. First thing we'll look at is the raster DSM image. This is a TIFF image that uh, is color coded based on elevation. This can be used in GIS purposes. We also have the ortho mosaic, which is a final um, high res aerial image that's mosaic together from all of the individual photos that we took with the ZX5. And lastly is going to be our 3D point cloud, which is created from our ortho mosaic. So here we have our point cloud with the real color applied from the images. And you can see as we rotate around in 3D view, we have the full 3D, um, 3D data from the point cloud. So in summary, we've looked at the ZX5 specifications and performance. We talked about the three deliverables that we were able to produce from the aerial images. And then we briefly looked at processing the data in Trimble Business Center. This concludes our video on the introduction to the Trimble ZX5 multi-rotor solution. We hope you found this beneficial and will join us again next time. Feel free to go to our survey blog at www.fpisurvey.com for more videos. Thank you.